Ohio, and it's one of Akron's newest and finest billiard rooms. We want to let you know for this match coming up that uh, we want no flash photography done during the match. Let me see if I can have this gentleman step out front also, a little bit more. Cell phones, please have your cell phones turned off so you don't to disrupt the players. And one other thing we'd like to say is that if you will have respect for the players when they're playing without... I, I can hope so. Sorry. Okay, good. I get out of the light and then I can't read. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Managed to break my glasses too. Uh, I don't wear my glasses very often, but I broke one now, it keeps falling down. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, please be uh, aware of the players, give them all the respect while they're playing, without any hand gestures or jumping up and down or giving their view. The other thing is, please be willing to applaud on a good shot if you want to applaud. At the end of the match, don't be afraid to applaud. Support the players. Okay, uh, another thing is, you know, raffling off a Nick Barner Q stick. It's five tickets for five dollars. So please uh, support the room. Take your uh, chance on a Nick Barner Q. After 11 games, we're going to take a break, give you a chance to stretch your feet. Relax a little bit and uh, go down to the lobby and get a sandwich. Okay, with nothing else to say, I think I covered everything. Okay, starting with the two competitors. This gentleman is a six time world champion, five time U.S. Open champion, nine times straight titles in Akron, Ohio, sponsored by Steinway Billiards and Kings of Vapor. From New York City, Earl, the Pearl Strickland. <laughs> Next we have 2011 U.S. Bar table, eight ball champion, 2012 Derby City bank pool champion, eight time Canadian champion, sponsored by Falcon Hughes and Hustlin USA, www.chalkcube.com and Alturi Cases and Kings of Vapor. All the way from Toronto, Canada. Let's give him a big hand, John Laura. Okay, uh, the format is going to be the following. We're going to have a race to 21 in nine ball. The nine ball will be wrapped on the spot, not with the one ball on the spot. Three balls must pass the head string on the break. You have to call your shot. You have to call safeties. The nine ball on the break does not count. And my next thing was say, gentlemen, please lag. And they've already got past them. After the match, you can receive a five by seven autograph picture of Earl Strickland and John Mora. And also this is being filmed. And you can go online on azbillions.com. And we have Upstate L of AZPTV. All right, folks, it looks like we're about to we get on the way. One more thing I run out about. One more word. Okay, please enjoy the match.
Okay, John Morris set the break. Game one, we're racing to 21. Right now to score 0-0, zero zero. we're looking for a 20-20 Hill Hill match. Let's see how this one's going to turn out. The Sparks are starting to fly. The pool room is buzzing. As you can tell, there's a lot of people here. It's been all over the radio here in Akron. John Morris set the break in game one. Nine ball does not count on the break. Call shot, call safety. Three balls must pass the head string. And they do. Plus one ball pocketed counts as a ball that went past the head string. John Mora taking a good look at the one ball to the left corner pocket to see if it goes by the eight. Let's take a see if we can see a look at this. If it does, it's a real tester. He can thread the needle, go up and down table, or try to stay anywhere within the middle and have a shot on the four ball. That's what he does. He's gonna wind up right above the spot and have a great shot on the four ball. <coughs> Opening shot. What a shot. Thank you, New Jersey pool player. We appreciate it. We appreciate everybody signing on or just viewing. We want to give a big shout out from our end to NYC Grind, Jerry Tarantola, Allison Fisher, and the whole crew for jumping on board to co produce this with AZB TV. They are doing updates on their NYC Grind Facebook page and on their nycgrind.com page. The call shot, call safety rule, um, they elected to play two players. Um, Earl and uh, John were talking about the rules. And that's what they decided on, so be it. Keep in mind, folks, that DVD, Earl Strickland Road Stories 2, is now available. And I'll give you a trailer vision of that as we proceed in this match. Uh, you can go over to dianahoppy.com and order yours also. John Mora opens up. One nothing. Alternate break, the pearl set the break. Six ball went past the head string and so did the five, so it is a legal break. Clean shot on the two ball in the bottom right hand corner, right by the eight. Pearl might play the three eight combination or he can spin between the three and the eight and shoot it uptown. All depends on his comfort zone. Who's to say what he's gonna do? Ooh, nice move. Played it off the eight to get the eight out of the equation. From in front of the three, clearing the three for a clear pocket right into the bottom right-hand corner, the Pearl. Manufacturing shots here. Yes, these are a standard four and a half inch pocket. Earl 
Bill's cue ball fighting for position. He does have a shot. Pearl to tie it up at one apiece. Racing at 21. Boy, oh boy, can this go 19, 19, 20, 20? 20, 20. All right, folks, getting down. Here it is. Pearl Strickland Road Stories 2 is available right now. It is the telephone number right there, or you can go on pool picks at earthlink.net. The lovely lady putting everything together, Miss Diana Hoppy. And you can collect to go over to Earth uh, Cool Picks, or you can go right to DianaHoppy.com and click on the tab that says DVDs. And you will find the link to purchase Earl Strickland Road Stories 2. We will be giving away an Earl Strickland Road Stories 1 DVD to somebody in the chat tonight. But you must be signed in. We're just going to put the names in the generator and let them spit them out. And the winner will win a free Road Stories 1. And tomorrow night, we'll be giving away a Road Stories 2, the newest DVD out. We'll be giving away tomorrow night. Um, it's not really a full house, um, but got a nice crowd, a really nice crowd here. And they keep coming in the door. You know, people getting off of work or people just get home and they want to come out and sweat this great match. It's not all the time you're going to see two of these champions in your backyard. So the folks all coming out. <coughs> he looks like John Mora might get a roll. Earl doesn't have to like it. And don't forget, it's cold shot, cold safety. So Earl says shoot again and John Mora calls the upper right hand corner he's going to try to kick this one ball into the upper right hand corner cue ball into the drink Earl Strickland jumps out of the seat ball in hand Jack to the subway. <laughs> you kind of like that one, huh? Go Jack in the subway. Earl Strickland, three ball into the side pocket, playing the floor up in the other corner or the side pocket. Funny angle there. Is Earl going to attempt the shot that he played with the eight and knock the nine out of the way so that the seven clears? Or does the seven go right by it? I would imagine it goes by it the way Earl just shot that. Two to one now. As you hear the applause from the audience. Folks, remember to check out AccuStat's Make It Happen event. They are heading down to Chesapeake, Virginia to bring us the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. 
and then heading back to New Jersey to bring us the eight ball invitational. They got a lot happening. <coughs> Check out AccuStats.com. Back to the action as Earl's break. sitting around right now heckling they, I mean, if they start heckling Earl Strickland Earl Strickland is going to go off you can bet on that but uh, hopefully he doesn't we love the pro question about the legal break and Earl says these balls came back Same rules tomorrow, good question. Uh, yet to be seen, I would imagine so. I would imagine that they will make the same rules, but you know, it's up to them. They sit down and they discuss them, or they, as they're practicing, they discuss it like they did today. So yet to be seen by all of us. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock, we're locking our chat down on our side and taking names. So you gotta be signed in at nine o'clock and then we will give that DVD away. You must be in the chat and then send AZB TV 8 p.m. with your information and we will get that DVD out to you. Can I turn up the volume a little bit more on my microphone or in the room? Scotty B in the house. Scotty B actually won a Road Stories 2 DVD the other night, courtesy of Diana Hoppy. What's up, Scotty B? Watching Earl Strickland. Score right now is 2-1 to one in favor of Earl. Seven ball in a really tough position. Earl's going to throw it back and try to knock the nine out. Didn't get there. Rail first. Got to watch the hit. Safe. Earl calls a safe. He's just going to kick the seven out and try to leave the cue ball right there. Fine at nine, I guess. <coughs> Calling safety. Slow roll it, maybe? Low rolling it. Just enough speed and leave the cue there. Good shot. John Moore. This is going to be nip and tuck. Great shot by Earl Strickland. Looks like John has a, either the long cushion or the short cushion to kick the seven back out of there. And he might be able to spin it off the short cushion. He doesn't like that shot. Earl came up a little short on that shot, but he should be okay. Cutner's right into the side pocket. Killing the cue ball, holding it there for the nine. 
Mr. Strickland. Puts another one up on his side of the scoreboard. He now leads this match three to one. It'll be John Moore's break. <laughs> Here's some of the folks that were watching last night. Somebody was having, looks like soup in a sandwich. And that was Rich. And this was Jimmy. And Rich was watching on his big screen also. That was last night watching the bank game. Don't forget, we'll be pulling into Providence, Rhode Island for the 15th and the 16th. But right now, John Moore is set to break. He trails this match three to one. Three balls must pass the head string or the ball's pocketed count. The one and the two pass. The eight goes in, so it's a legal break. But look at the three seven, how it's tied up around down there with the nine and the two. Now, they are racking the nine on the spot. John Mora calls a push out here. Safety call by the Pearl. Watch the cue ball behind the three here. That's the shot. He's going to hit the front of the three. He tried to get it behind it. He would have got it behind it. It would have been a really, really great shot. Good speed, though. Still no gimme. One and only Diana Hoppy in the chat. There is Miss Diana Hoppy right there that did so much for pool, taking pictures of every player on the planet. Yes, guys, please share this on social media. It does help. It is a free stream. Two champions shooting it out. John elects to take the long tester here on the four ball and all he has to do is really try to hold the cue ball in that position for the five into the uh, bottom right hand corner so he can roll forward for the six the seven in the same pocket in the bottom left but he's probably going to try to hold the rock right there perfect shot follow up with the five shoot the six and the seven in the bottom left hand corner and nine might see John Moore play a little one pocket right after this five. Listen, guys, the young lady is in the chat. That's the one who is actually producing this right here. 
Pearl Strickland Road Stories 2. You can go over to dianahoppy.com and place your order for the newest Road Stories 2 and also Road Stories 1. We will be giving away a Road Stories 1 tonight. In fact, 9 o'clock, 29 minutes from now, we're locking it down in the chat. you got to be signed in to be eligible to win Road Stories 1 tonight. Tomorrow night, we'll be giving away Road Stories 2, courtesy of Diana. Thank you, Jeremy, for sharing it. Appreciate it. We know a lot of folks did. We want to thank you all. All right, John Moore now faced with going up and down the table. Coming back for the seven. How'd he hit it? John Moore calls safe. We thought the seven ball went from here, but obviously it doesn't. So John Moore calls safe here. So you don't have to like this. It's going right in the hole. Wow, that's a big roll right there, Mr. Strickland. Earl Strickland now goes up by a score of four to one in this race to 21 as you hear the crowd erupt here at the Kings of Billiards in Akron, Ohio. I'm upstate out with AZB TV. The young lady in the chat is Diana Hoppy and she's giving away a, a Road Stories 1 DVD tonight and we're also giving her away a Road Stories 2 tomorrow. You can go right here to this website pull picks at earthlink.net or you can if you prefer go right to dianahoppy.com and you'll find a tab for dvd and you can purchase it right through there i'm going to run a trailer i actually have the trailer video loaded in the broadcast and when we get a second it's very hard to roll between the games as earl when he gets on a roll he's like a freight train the strickland the pearl the mighty earl the crash don't forget Three of them have to go past the head string. This is not a legal break. And John Morris says, go ahead, Errol, your shot. <laughs> Push out called.
Well, it got the six out of the equation. The three goes right into the side pocket, as you can see, clear as day. The five ball up by the Simonis logo up at the top. like flirting with balls like that and you know bouncing into them like that but didn't cause too much problem right there for John but sometimes you can get locked up and leave yourself on a bad angle when you start moving balls around like that stop the rock right there six ball actually clears the nine into the bottom right hand corner shot good speed Stopping by for the stories and the shots. And if you ever see me out and you ask me to play, I'm going to shoot holes in you. Hi, I'm back. Guys, we'll run more of that trailer, like I said, as we have some time. But right now, we got to get back to business. John Moore set the break here. Still trails in the game. Four games to two. We're far away from 21. I'm Upstate Out with AZB TV. And this is being co-produced by AZB TV and NYC Grind. We definitely want to thank Simonis, Cloth, Aramith Balls, Lucasi Cues, the Tap League, and of course, azbilliards.com. Steinway Billiards for sponsoring Pearl the Pearl Strickland. And give a big shout out to Larry Ross baptizing his granddaughter soon, Eva, coming up. Back to the match, John Moore set with a real tester here. One ball into the upper left-hand corner. Now Earl can make him shoot again if Earl doesn't like this. But Earl can pocket a ball just about anywhere on the table. Testa has to get royalties. We gotta pay Testa royalties every time I say it's a Testa. Kawaka, <laughs> you're the only one that can think of these things, man. <laughs> you must work for Google.
Well, Earl Strickland got himself in a bad position here for the three. He's going to wind up kicking it safe. Or try to. Well, it looks like John Moore has got a clear shot at the three ball as he gets down and one eyes it. Even if the five goes past the seven to stretch over the table, you kind of jacked up over the eight ball. Well, he's got part of the cue ball there, okay. If the five goes, he's okay. Played the combination instead. Good shot. Very good shot. language of John Moore, he might not have the six ball. <coughs> corner. Well, I guess he does. He called the corner pocket. He's going to jump it. John Moore to the air. Earl Strickland just like that, five to two now. Keep in mind, I believe when the, either one of the players get to 11, we're gonna take a few minute break. Give the folks here time to stretch their legs and grab refreshments or something to eat. Uh, last night we did the same thing and then we got right back to the match as the players only wanted to take a few minutes. So I don't know how long they're gonna take, but we'll be standing by waiting. Let's see if we can run a little more. I said, does anybody want to play some nine ball for 20 a game? <laughs> and he, he turned around all wobbly. <laughs> he grabbed the gun off of the bar. And he says, yeah, I'll play some eight ball. <laughs> the eight ball was the only ball on the table. And he took the gun and he shot the eight ball off the table. And I was... We'll get back to a little more of that trailer. That's from... Earl Strickland Road Stories 2. Go over to dianahoppy.com and you can watch the trailer right there on the website. Because Earl Strickland's going to wind up behind this five. Wide open table. But he's behind the five ball. You're going to see him push out or kick. Push. Push out called by Pearl.
John Moore tried the one ball into the corner pocket. Earl's going to make him shoot again as the cue ball tucks behind the two. John Moore calls the bottom left-hand corner this time. Strickland, if that one ball goes by that eight ball in the upper left-hand corner, he should be off to the races right here. And it does. It leads this match five to two over John Moore. Both players making this game look extremely easy. He didn't like it. He, when he hit it, he didn't like it. He knew he hit it a little too tough, but he's going to be okay. He'll be all right. Earl to the corner pocket. by the right hand corner pocket for a six to two lead over Johnny Mora. Earl the Pearl coming with it. Folks, you want to follow Upstate Al on Twitter? There it is. Livestream News One is the name on Twitter I go by. It's all about live streaming. Make sure to check out AccuStats.com. Make it happen events coming up in November, plus in a, this a couple of weeks they'll be down in Chesapeake, Virginia to bring us the, the U.S. Open. I don't know what that was all about. It sounded like somebody opened up the front door. It was out of the floor. Johnny Moore, set the break. Game score right now, six to two. Three balls going up above the head string, which makes it a, a legal break, and Earl Strickland flew out of his seat. Can't wait to get back to the table. What a clean shot on the one. Folks, also in this room, every Friday night, there's an eight ball tournament going on. If you like to play eight ball, you can come on down. Friday night starts at 8 p.m. to his work. Uh, he played the banks yesterday. And man, he was banking. Splitting the pockets. But this is a cuttable, cuttable three ball. Should be cut right into the bottom right hand corner. That's the shot. It looks like it from here. Earl calls cross corner. Splits the pocket. Shot.
Earl the Pearl for the win. Seven to two, Earl the Pearl taking a commanding lead here. Unbelievable, Johnny Moore missed a couple of shots. Don't count them out, folks. Far from counting them out. Let's get back to that trailer. All right, by then after we shot the ball, I was on the floor and I was crawling around. Your nerves can take over your whole body very easily. Versus golf or racing or football or anything. Believe me, your nerves can kill you. <laughs> Set the break here in game 10, leads this match 7 to 2. Running through the forest like a wildfire. Can't leave him a shot. The one does go into the side pocket. It's a legal break. We're looking at a 2 9 carom, possibly. Earl the Pearl might come with a quick game here. Now he is in a position to cut this one ball into the side pocket, and if he elects to snap the two away from there. He can snap the two out of there. Right now, what he just did was bend down and took a look at the two nine combination by bringing the cue ball down to like the short rail right above the scoreboard. So he's got a couple of opportunities, right? He's calling safe. I think he called safe. That's what he did, he called a safe shot. This is a pretty fairly easy kick for John Mora. The eight ball making that up a uh, right hand corner a little bit bigger. He might call that up a corner. Safety called. He made that corner pocket big. I wonder if Earl can spin the cue ball underneath the seven. Coming short. See what he does, or is he going to kill it? Sweat his English here. He looks like he's going to spin it. He's playing it with some reverse. Played it with the reverse. He wants to get way past that four. He wants to get past that oh, four Jack ball. Jack him up. Jack him up. You heard him playing a nine. Gets the kiss off the cushion into the nine and the cue ball scratches. Ball in hand for Mora. Now is the time to turn it up. in the chat by Anna Hoppy says if anybody's having any kind of questions about road stories they can call her and there's a telephone number right there in the chat uh oh Scotty Bannon says he had a crush on you you might have a stalker That's Scotty Bannon's cool people actually Scotty Bannon is the one that won the road stories too Oh, 
folks. Two minutes to lock down the chat. Nine o'clock, we're locking it down. We will take screen names and put them in the generator. So you got to be signed in at nine o'clock to be eligible to win Road Stories 1, the DVD, courtesy of Diana Hoppy. Go over there and check out dianahoppy.com. You can purchase yours right there. Smells like fried chicken here. If I can, Jared, I will make it. I've been down to the U.S. Open numerous times. If I can make it, it's on schedule. I'll make it. That you can bet on. I just got a, <laughs> a text message from the lock himself, Eddie the Lock. <laughs> John Mora coming with it, making it a little interesting. Now it still trails by four, but the score is seven to three. The lock says, you follow? He says, tell everybody in the chat, make sure they follow. And I think what he means by that is, on Ustream right here, there's a, above the viewer, I think there's a button that's yellow or orange, and you, you can click follow and anytime AZB TV goes live if you elect to get an email on it they will ship you an email and let you know that we are live and from what location so there's an orange button above the viewer on your stream and you can just hit follow all right seven to three John Moore making it a little more respectable here still trails by four Chat locked down. I just want to let everybody know it. And we are working on putting those names in. Give us a few minutes there, folks. We will make an announcement on who the winner is. And when we make that announcement, you got to acknowledge us in the chat and say, hey, I'm here, or something to that nature, or wave your hand, or a thumbs up. And then send me a PM. To AZB TV and I will get that information over to the one and only Miss Diana Hoppy who's in the chat. I'll send her a PM with your information.
Earl the Pearl, eight to three now in this match. We'll go into 21. Shout out to Steinway Billiards down there in Astoria, Queens, in New York. Sponsoring the Pearl. Set the break here. Two ball goes by the head string. The eight nudges to five. That'll go past it. It's a legal break. A long tester on the two. Royalties. If you're wondering who these folks are here, these, these are folks that sent in pictures of themselves watching the bank pool last night. So if you're watching it and you want to take a picture of the stream with yourself in front of it, you could send it to upstateowlpool at gmail.com. That's upstateowlpool at gmail.com. And uh, we'll try to get it up on the broadcast. Safety call, but John Moore is going to have a shot into the upper right-hand corner. <laughs> Marty Irvin's got a <laughs> Cosmo 8's got a pretty good point there. Please be <laughs> dressed when you send those pictures and watch in this stream. <laughs> Marty at <are> the best. <laughs> okay, 8-3 back at the ranch. How about NYC Grind? NYC Grind jumping on board to go produce this live stream for free. How about that, huh? Allison Fisher working constantly, <laughs> even when she's on vacation in Wisconsin. Always doing something to promote the game and keep everybody up to date what's going on. Jerry Tarantola working feverishly. I'll tell you, we were together last weekend. What a shot by the Pearl coming back, snapping the nine out of the way. Perfect position on the four. And he's off to the races. Watch the cue speed, though. He might have got a little pumped up on that one. He winds up perfectly. Talk about getting close to your work. He told everybody to stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys breathe, you <laughs> make the five ball roll a little faster. <laughs> Eddie to lock, you follow. Pearl shooting right at us. The Pearl. Um, Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com. Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com. And it looks like Earl Strickland is going upstate with his scoreboard right now. I'll tell you, he is on a tear. He leads this 9-3. to three. We're racing at 21. We're here in Akron, Ohio at Kings of Billiards. Also the owners of Kings of Vapor. Check them out. Kingsofvapor.com. Sponsoring these two players, Mike DeShane, Scott Frost, numerous others. Make sure to check them out. The Kingsofvapor.com. Upstate Owl Pool at gmail.com. We're working on the giveaway. We're working on the giveaway. The giveaway tonight is the DVD Earl Strickland Road Stories 1. I don't know, Eddie, you're sending me text about volume. How about getting a headset or going for a 
hearing test. You follow? <laughs> All right, here we go. John Mora, set the break. The one goes past the head string, the three goes past the head string, and the two, so it is a legal break. Nothing drops. Earl Strickland flies out of the seat. He's got a shot on the one. It appears to go by the three. He's down there looking at it real tight. Outpool at gmail.com. That is correct. That is correct. Thank you. They're too slow. Jimmy, ace in the hole, always helping out. And we'll try to get your pitches up there as quick as possible. As soon as we get a chance. You know, when Earl's on a tear, there is no chance. We're lucky we could run his trailer of his road stories, too. Firing. Leads this match 9 to 3. Okay, Jared, I'll get to it. Can't give Earl any air. If you give him air, he will take it. Leads this match 10 to 3. Earl the Pearl. Follow. Jared, I didn't get your picture. I'm going to check the spam mail. Nothing in spam. I didn't get your picture, Jared. Maybe need some time to come through. But Tommy Seminero, the ace in, out of, from out of space, the squeeze. I got his. I'm just, just give me a little bit here, and I'm going to work on them. safe. Here's a picture from David. David just sent this in. David's watching the stream right there. You see he's running the dual monitors. Thanks Dave for your support. We also got Tommy Seminero hanging out with the Pearl years ago. Mr. Seminero, you can tell which one he is. You see the Pearl on the left. Thanks for sending that in Tommy. Let's get back to the match. 
Ooh, no hit. You know, those points on those side pockets have been getting, John, for the last couple of days. I don't know, my volume's up pretty good right now. I mean, I could, I'm, I'm talking a little bit lower than normal because uh, the position we are in the pool room here. So if it sounds a little low, it is on my end. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about that. How about this right here? That should be better. There we go. You were right all the time, Eddie. You follow? I had my master volume down. There you go. The Pearl. Leading this match right now. 10-3. If Earl should get to 11, we're going to take a break. Give the players a break. Give the folks here a chance to stretch their, leg, their legs and have something to manj. And then we'll get back to play. And I can tell you right now, I wouldn't bet against Earl not getting out here. He doesn't want to be jacked up over that eight. He wants to get past the eight ball, and it looks like he's okay. Earl the Pearl. Zoom. Holding a rock for the nine into the bottom left-hand corner and going up by a commanding lead of 11 to three. Earl Strickland leads 11 to three. Break time. Break time for the players right now. All right, let's, let's run a couple of these pitches from the folks that just sent it in. There he is, Mr. Tommy Seminero, my ace, and Earl the Pearl Strickland. David, thanks for your support. Richie, Jimmy, another Rich. Everybody watching the stream right now. Don't forget, we're going to run this ad right here entire. stopping by for the stories and the shots and if you ever see me out and you ask me to play I'm gonna shoot holes in you. Well there you have it Earl the Pearl Road Stories 2. Make sure you go over there and you check it out. There you see it pool picks at earthlink.net in order there's a telephone number that you just saw posted in the chat by Diana Hoppy and I just want to let you know who the winner of here comes my son Janet K U J A N N E T K U if you are still in the chat please acknowledge yourself send me the PM or just acknowledge in the chat that you're here. Give us some kind of sign. You are the winner of the Earl Strickland DVD 1, Road Stories 1. Janet K.U. Break time. We'll be right back. Janet KU, too slow, or Anya or somebody, if they do acknowledge. 
please uh, let me know. And Janet K. U., send me a PM after you acknowledge yourself in the chat. If not, we will have to regenerate and pick another winner. We'll be right back. If you want to send your pictures in, you send them into Upstate Al Pool. That's Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com. I don't see any acknowledgement by Janet yet. Let me know if, she, if Janet does acknowledge herself. I got to step out for a second. Okay, Janet KU, there you are. Okay, she, you are acknowledged in the chat. Please send me a PM, which is a private message. Just uh, click on the icon with the two folks in it and look for AZB TV and send me your name and shipping address and I'll get it over to Diana Hoppy. And we will uh, get that DVD, Road Stories 1, out to you. Congratulations. Oh, okay. Is Janet or Jane? All right. If it's Jane, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are the winner. Yes.
Tell me how I won. Well, we put your name in a generator, and you're the winner of the Earl Strickland Road Stories DVD. If you wish to pass it over, then we could elect to pick somebody else, but you are the winner of that DVD. Anybody that was signed into the chat was eligible to win, and you were signed in, and your name got picked out of 500 and something people that were signed in. Now, I didn't receive a PM yet. Well, don't worry about it, little Earl. We're giving another DVD away tomorrow, which will be Earl Strickland Road Stories 2, the newest one. A Honda generator. <laughs> no, it's an on-land generator where all the names get put in, and it automatically.